sub dudes and not dudes um got my camera set up in director's mode right now so that you can see my viewpoint from the tree and all the backdrop that i got back here to help break up my silhouette this year uh continuation obviously on some of the other posts that i've been doing and out here look at that that's like a magic little pointer there anyways that's uh that's my spot so right there i like i said i had to clean up all those little hangy branches so i got all those done and out of the way just knocked down they were all dead anyways i didn't cut the tree down i only chopped one tree that was uh not quite dead and just to benefit me just how it goes happy Ar uh national arbor day or whatever day that is and stuff where you're not supposed to cut down trees anyways cut down all those dead limbs you can see the corn pile right back there and then this area right here i knocked it down i went in there with a riding mower and knocked it down so cute stuff no Well, give me like two minutes. The wife's trying to crank up the lawnmower while I'm making a video. So inconsiderate with her cute little ass walking around out there. Anyways, so this area right here, cleaned that up. Went in there and uh, chopped all that old gross, overgrowth that was down there. Brought it down to mostly bare dirt and then uh, spread out a whole bunch of... Um, Shady Patch Mitch mix from the Pure Whitetail. So it's uh, brassicas, ryegrass, a um, bunch of clover, and some uh, trophy rape. And then I think it has a little bit of weed in it, like weeding agent, like weed seed kind of stuff. Um, basically, try to give the deer something to stop at. I know that it's not really going to come in till around October, but in, uh, in Georgia here on the coast, uh, the rut starts at the end of October out here, so I got plenty of time. It'll it'll be green by the time they come around, and all the stuff that's already out there, it'll it'll go back around. But uh, I'll pop this around so that you can see my little setup there, and we can hopefully harvest something this year. But uh, this corn pile right there, fancy stuff. That is where I keep grabbing the pictures, and I decided that I'm going to move my camera. So I actually moved my camera down to that little tree right there at the beginning of my finger. Bam, right there. Moved my camera because I was getting a lot of pictures, but I would only get like two deer on here. And I wasn't really digging the fact that I couldn't see the whole herd and all the activities going on because they're running around all over the place out there. And uh, I want to get some better inventory and we'll see what happens but should be fun to go so see you guys soon get out and start shooting here in a minute i'm gonna go set up a deer out there range this for me in an idealistic spot and i'm gonna sling a couple arrows so i'll put that video up on the end of this as well so like i said get out there and shoot even in your off time it's important <laughs> All right, guys, I'm back. <clears throat> so, climb down, set up a uh, shooter buck target, and I'm gonna range it now. I'm gonna see what this looks like, and send a couple arrows at it. Make sure that my bow is all nice and beautiful, and that I'm gonna get accuracy this year when I go to shoot so let's see what my stuff looks like oh man that thing's crystal clear we are at 18.8 yards to the deer itself right into its heart and to the corn over there it is 22.2 .2 yards so 
this should be a pretty easy shot no matter what I don't even need to change my pin I just set it up on 20 and rock and roll this is a chip shot man easy easy money um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sling two arrows at it make sure that I'm on point that I can hit a deer in the heart or at least in both lungs I set up the camera so that you guys can see the shots uh, you won't be able to see me shoot because I don't have all my equipment out here with me it's way too uh, annoying to do all that right now because it's hot and I don't know just don't want to do it it's called laziness um, set up two arrows we're gonna sling them down there let you uh, see the shot I'll zoom in just a little bit and um, like I said get shooting backyard bow hunting man no matter what just find a way to make it happen because that's the only way that it's gonna happen is to figure out how to get out there and make it happen here you go shot that deer is dead so there's a backyard bow hunting success story right there already all right now two let me set let's see if i can get another dead deer right now that right there guys that's two dead deer Let's see if we can see it boom that's two dead deer right there backyard bow hunting by the way just for the record and i'm completely making this up when i say it but i talked to this dude over at hoyt told you making it up all right but maybe hoyt will send me something cool because i'm sick and tired of shooting the same bow and watching every year nothing progress in archery in the company I'm shooting now. Hmm. Maybe we know who I'm talking about. Anyways, Hoyt told me that they were going to send me a new bow. If I said, hey, Hoyt, send me a new bow. Shout out to Hoyt. Hoyt, I like the way that your shit draws right now. Maybe Hoyt's going to send me a new bow. Wait, I said Hoyt said I was going to send me a new bow, right? Mm-hmm. Have fun, guys. Backyard bow hunting at its finest. Zodiac Nation Outdoors. That's me. Also, go get your shit. That's the only way I can support this channel. I'm about to open my own archery shop, like for real, for real, and be in competition with some of these uh, terrible customer service archery shops around in the area. So go ahead, get down on my channel, get, uh, check out that merch, and uh, support your local uh, Zodiac Nation Outdoors and archery shop professional.